for Cade the Great at the Portsmouth Brewery. Cade the Great! Woo! Hi, Tim. How are you, man? <laughs> what do you think? Pretty crazy, huh? Godfather of New England Brewery. I'd be honored to uh, to grow his mustache. <laughs> Absolutely, my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure. Thanks for coming. Thank you. So how often do you release it? Once a year. It was June last year. And uh, we decided that, you know, June was crazy. Right. And uh, we had, um, well, the, beer, the bottle of beer was sold in two hours, uh, in four hours. This this year, it was under three hours. It was crazy. There was a line at 5.30. <laughs> there were people waiting at 5.30. I mean, it's getting ridiculous. I've been, uh, camping, I've been camping out since Friday. Uh, you may have stepped over my tent on the way in. And I just don't, I just don't understand how this sort of snowball. Hi, my name is Ginger, and I'm from Dover, and I'm here with Kate and Kate Great, which is awesome. I've been brewing Kate since I was in the back day. It was a different incarnation. It was known as Boston Strangler Stout, and I've been brewing it since since '95. 96. Uh, same recipe. Same recipe. The only difference between what was being brewed at Back Bay Brewing Company and here is that we've added in the port wood. And we make our own port wood. We've got a local um, uh, winery in Lee called uh, Flag Hill Winery and we use their port. And so we take three bottles of their port and we infuse some of the old spirals and uh, let that sit for about 14 to 16 days, and then we bring beer into that, that cylinder, that stainless container, with the cake, and let it saturate for uh, anywhere from 45 to 60 days. Then that entire batch gets thrown back into the 10 barrels of cake, and adds in that extra complexity. Okay. And you've got the vanilla character of the oak, You've got the um, uh, dark, fruity, um, figgy, plummy, um, raisin character from the port. And that, on top of the stout itself, that sounds amazing. It's delicious. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're under an hour away from uh, inauguration day. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's a dynamite beer. Oh, excellent. What do you think sets? Kate apart from other stouts that are out there? Is there who, one who characteristic knows? or...? Who I, I don't know. Okay. You know, I, you just never know what it is that turns people to, you know, your beer. And uh, we're kind of thinking that it's just, it's just coincidence. It just, you know, people just happen to get the beer, love the beer, and rated the beer. And, and that's, that's what it came down to. So how do you think all the hype really got started? I mean, this is crazy. You have a hundred people outside. You have a couple hundred people here at the pub. Where did the insanity I come from? I, <laughs> I, I, more than likely, uh, just bugs got out. You know, and you bloggers, and all it takes is one person to say, "Oh, you got to check this out." And the next thing you know, you got. 20 people saying you got to check it out, and that 20 turns into 100, and that 100 turns into 200, and there you have it. You know the place is packed. This is this, it's Monday. Yeah, I know. Monday at the Portsmouth Brewery in February. It's usually dead. Thank you so oh, much. My pleasure. We really appreciate my pleasure. your time, pal. Oh, no worries. Now you just have a little time to waste. <laughs> so where's Tim and Amy? Nothing. <laughs> Here's Kate, right here, right in this baby. There she is. It's about this full of beer, and that's all we can put into it because that's all we have. So that's five barrels of beer. That's uh, 164 gallons or something like that. Crazy. Now we're hoping it's going to last until at least Wednesday, but the crowd that's outside, who knows? Does she look that excited to come out in there? She is. I, I'm not even going to tell you what she's like. She's very excited. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Not that much head. The head
disappears pretty quick. It's a tan head, maybe a quarter inch when I got it. Uh, it's receded now. Dark, dark, dark motor oil. Uh, the aroma, as Libby put it, is got a little bit of cherries in there. First thing that struck me was the alcohol. It's got a real hot alcohol, whiny, or maybe even, I was thinking maybe even sake in a weird, in a weird way. And then certainly fruit, and then with the typical roasted dark character that you would expect from a Imperial, Russian Imperial Stout.